My name is Gail McKenna and I volunteer down at the Cancer Radiation Centre and also in the Cancer Day Unit. I've been volunteering at Gosford Hospital now for 10 years. At the end of my teaching career, after my own diagnosis and recovery from cancer, I wanted to pay back to the wonderful people who looked after me. Gail is warm, friendly, so personable, so easygoing. She's, she's genuinely here to help um, in any way that we need it. The volunteer role down in the Cancer Centre evolved from just chatting to people and looking after the patients that were undergoing treatment to a myriad of different things. Helping out with the wigwam, making appointments, the Wrap With Love, organising that, um, knitting lots of squares, and just helping out the staff wherever you can. I think the most important thing with patients is to be able to just be there and listen to them and to help them when they're going through difficult times. It's also lovely to be able to celebrate people who have finished treatment and you're actually there and you can cheer them on and say, well, job well done. Gail tells us she loves her role just as much, if not more, than when she started. And she's the first one to put a hand up to help when the volunteer manager puts an SOS out for help. That makes me feel really special oh, to see the written down there and that's me. That's what I've done and it's a real honour to be here. My name is Nolin Darcy and I volunteer at Wyong Hospital um, every Friday. I've, I've been volunteering for 20 years now and I love it. Both wards, um, G3 and MDU, um, I look after the storeroom and the treatment room. So empty the boxes, I hate boxes on the floors, so I take everything out of the boxes, put them where they belong, top up everything in the treatment room so that it's easy for the staff just to pick up and go. Try to make things easy for them, for the staff, for the doctors, for the nurses. Nolene has been with us for 20 years and that's just such an amazing achievement. Nolene knows everywhere in Wyong Hospital and she's there to help any department that needs help. She loves her shifts. If she can't make a shift on a Friday, she'll swap her day so she can still come and help the staff. Nolene is busy behind the scenes and Nolene is busy restocking, tidying, getting paperwork, organising things so that staff have more time to focus on caring for their patients. And Nolene doesn't do it for the things, she does it because she sees a need and knows she can help and make a difference, and she does. Yes, I don't, don't expect an award. When I'm giving it from my heart, that makes a difference. I don't feel I have to do it. I want to do it and I love to do it. So my name's Sue and I volunteer in the Oncology and Hematology Ward, which is K8 at Gosford Hospital. I make cups of coffee and tea, I restock the shelves. I guess the most important thing is that I chat to the patients. I do a little survey of five questions. It's just a patient experience survey to see if there are any issues that arise because our num's very proactive and she likes to know if there are any issues and quite often people don't talk to the staff but they will talk to me because I'm a bit external to that. And that also acts as a, an icebreaker, I guess, and people will often then start to chat to you. So my job really is to, is to talk to them try and distract them from issues that they might be having, maybe pain that they're experiencing and just try and make their day a little bit happier. Sue is just so kind and genuine. She loves her role in K8. She's missed if she's not there. The staff kind of call me and go, where's Sue, is she okay? Because she has such an impact on the staff and the patients. 
patients have a more comfortable and patient-centred experience because of Sue. She has a natural ability to connect with patients and make them feel safe, and she's a valued member of the K8 team. Wow. I'm quite chuffed at that. This is, this is nice to hear. Nice to know that somebody, somebody thinks I'm doing a good job. <laughs>